a sleepy beach town with no traffic, amazing food and hipster cafes with world-class surfing, some of the best cliffside ocean views you've ever seen, and nudists? Today we're going to dive into the lesser-known digital nomad hotspot in Bali called Uluwatu and find out if it's true what our Changu friends say, that Ulu kids are weird. Plus, we'll talk about how to harness your creative energy to its full potential and become prolific in your work. But first, subscribe to the channel, hit notifications, and smash that like button. My name is Christian, and I've gone from a broke pizza delivery driver to making millions of dollars online while working from 25 countries over six different continents. This series, Digital Nomad Cribs, is about what home looks like when you can work from anywhere in the world. Keep watching to see how and where I live while learning more about how to start, grow, and scale a work from anywhere online business or visit digitalnomad.com to start your work from anywhere journey today. Located at the south tip of Bali, the name Uluwatu comes from Ulu, meaning land's end, and Watu, meaning rock. Uluwatu was discovered as a surfing destination in 1972 due to the making of Morning of the Earth, a 1971 classic surf film. The film intended on documenting the waves around Kuta that ended up following the beach all the way down to Uluwatu. Today, Uluwatu is filled with locals, young families, surfers, backpackers, digital nomads, and nudists, at least according to Wikipedia. Aside from the occasional topless Brazilian sunbather, I haven't seen it, but that doesn't mean it's not there. I came to Uluwatu before heading to Ubud and Changu to visit my travel blogger friends who have spent the last couple months there. My girlfriend and I flew into Bali without any place to stay after our planned three to four nights with friends, so we ended up booking the rest of the month last minute. Something that strikes fear into the over-prepared traveler, but is one of my favorite things to do. I like to live on the edge. Our place in Ulu ended up being amazing, with ocean views, a huge infinity pool, outdoor living with a proper work table, which is very important for digital nomads, and four bedrooms, enough for everyone to have their own office. It even came with its own guard dogs and guard chickens. All for less than the price of rent of a one-bedroom apartment in New York City. So we're out here in front of the villa. You can see we come down that big steep hill. This is usually where the guard dogs and chickens hang out. They'll greet you when you come in, but let's go uh, walk in the front door and you'll see what it's all about. Park your motorbike right there. And then we've got this big, nice entryway. I love a good entryway. So come on in. You're gonna come in here and right there we've got the Ganesha greeting us at the door. Uh, if you don't know the story of Ganesha, Shiva had come home after being away for a long time and his son opened the door and he didn't recognize his son. So he cut off his son's head and then he realized it was the son and the son uh, replaced his head with an elephant's head. And uh, Ganesha is the remover of obstacles. So we've got the nice entryway. We're gonna walk up these stone passageway. And the first thing I noticed walking in this place is uh, you're just greeted by this looming infinity pool. So we walk out here, there's a nice huge grass area, a little day bed over there. Uh, but really the house is just calling to you up there. So you're gonna have to keep walking up the stairs. On the lower level, we have two guest bedrooms. So let's pop into those right now. This is a perfect area for handstands in case you didn't notice. All right, so guest bedroom number one walk in. We've got uh, two twin beds there, got a little couch going on, and then there's some doors that open to the outside with those chairs out there. And then we can, you know, some nice artwork on the wall. And then like most places in Bali, we're going to come in the bathroom and every bedroom has its own bathroom and shower. And so it's like every bedroom is a master bedroom. Some better than others, but they're all pretty good. So this is bedroom number one. Bedroom number two, another guest room. So this has two twins, put the kids in here. And then, uh, you know, a little darker in here, but every room has a AC. And then once again, it's a nice kind of standard bathroom with a walk-in shower. Really pretty nice, whatever room you get. So we're just gonna keep walking up these stairs and see where it leads. Second master 
right here. All right, so the last bedroom you guys haven't seen, we're using this as an office right now. So we got the desk where the magic happens. And then, you know, just an awesome porch out here. You can come out here, watch the sunset over the ocean in the background there. Just epic. All right, so you come up here, we've got a massive view of the ocean out there. I don't know if you can see it on your screen. And just a beautiful, massive infinity pool with a tree on it and then some really comfortable lounges and chairs to go sit. You can do your work in the morning here and watch the sunrise. One of my favorite things to do is come out here, read with my coffee and just watch the sun come up over the mountains and the ocean at the same time. The cool thing about this place is all the doors in the back of the living area open up. And so the whole way through it's open air and you can see there's water back there, there's fish in the water. And then this is just an amazing, one of the best work tables ever. Every digital nomad needs a good work table, a place you can sit down, you have room to spread out, eat and get to work. In Bali, you gotta drink filtered water. So there's the, um, the water, you got a fridge, pretty much everything you need over here. We have a microwave, a blender. Now I did bring my own blender and it started smoking when I used it this morning and sparks were flying out. I think maybe the voltage was wrong. So that did not turn out that well. I think I might've fried it, but we have a backup blender. Um, what else? We got cooking stove. Now I didn't clean up after breakfast this morning. There's now an army of ants. So you kind of got to watch out in, uh, if you leave food out anywhere, we try to put everything in the fridge. Otherwise you're going to get invaded by insects, but a nice cooking area, a sink to clean your dishes. And then, you know, most places in Bali have daily main service. that's just included in your rent. Um, this place we actually have every other day, which I like better because I actually don't like somebody being all up in my space every single day. Um, so that's why it's a little messy, but usually it gets cleaned up pretty quick. Then a nice living room, really comfortable couch here. And uh, there's a big bowl. You can throw all your stuff in here. You can see I've got Kindle required for being a digital nomad. You can go read on the beach without too much glare on your screen. Then I also have my, uh, my wallets here. So I use these wallets that look generally like maps. And so this is if you lose your wallet or if somebody's gonna pickpocket you, they can't tell that this is a wallet and there's money in it. So one time I lost this at a temple in Bali and I uh, didn't realize it until I was back at my house. And four hours later, I went back to get it and it's still just sitting there on the ground. Um, one, because the Balinese people are so nice and I don't think they would take your stuff anyways. But two, nobody can tell that there's money in this. So just a little travel hack for you. Uh, a nice TV there. We haven't tried it out yet, but we have been meaning to have movie night. We even bought some popcorn at the store today to try and watch the first Top Gun so that we can go watch the new Top Gun in theaters. I don't like you because you're dangerous. That's right. Nice man. I am dangerous. All right, so we're gonna walk across this moat. You gotta watch yourself at night. You could fall in the water, but we're gonna come in here. And this is usually kind of like the oasis. You come in here and there's air conditioning. So if it's super hot out, as you can tell, I'm kind of sweaty. Um, come in here and you can cool off. So this has got an awesome view out to the pool, a little day bed on the balcony. And then, you know, your standard bed, working desk. If we come over here, we've got a walk-in shower with a nice stone floor. Looks like my swim trunks are still on the ground there. But, come out this door. We can step outside. We also have an outdoor shower. So if you want to shower under the stars, under the vegetation, you can come out here and do it. So that's the house tour. Just an absolutely incredible place to stay with the view, the pool, all of the space, four bedrooms, four baths. If you need to bring a big crew, you can. Uh, you can even jump off this into the pool. Now let's jump into what we learned while we're here. Other than working at the villa, we spent our time at Cliffside Beach Clubs, which Ulu is perhaps most well known for after surfing. And of course, there was handstands, gyms, and cappuccinos. Throw in some scooter rides and backflips and we had a great week. Being in such a beautiful place with an ocean view had me waking up before sunrise to watch the sun come up over the mountains and the ocean in the distance. It reminded me that my most productive time of the day, and by that I mean the time when creative energy just flows out of me for creating content, writing, or producing, is immediately after I've meditated and drank my morning coffee. 
It was a reminder to myself to spend this creative energy before it's gone. Because creative life force is like getting a million dollar paycheck every day. But you have to spend it before the end of the day or it disappears and resets. The more consistently you spend this paycheck every day, the more you produce over time. And when you become truly prolific, meaning you produce a lot, your work will become so good, the world will reward your value creation. Years ago, when I was trying to make my first million online, I had a note on my desk. Become addicted to content creation, it said. Now, running three different companies and teams, that's more true than ever. Remember that consistency is more important than intensity and that inspiration will strike when you sit down and create at the same time every day. Find the time that works for you and make it a habit. Pretty soon it will feel weird if you don't create something in a day. So that's Uluwatu, the southern tip of Bali, a place filled with surfers, locals, and according to Wikipedia, prized by nudists. Come check it out if you want a more relaxed feel in Bali, with much of the same amenities of the more crowded areas like Changu, Seminyak, or Ubud. Starting and scaling a business is hard enough as it is. You don't have to do it alone. Learn how to use the power of marketing to build a life you don't need a vacation from, and join the WFA family at digitalnomad.com. watching me put your camera down put it down on your YouTube kids on your YouTube come on give me a smoke <laughs> what is happening <laughs>